the Night Side Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Curie on KSL News Radio. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Were you going to do this one? No, I better we both heard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome to the Nightside Project. I got Alex Keery here. I'm Ethan Miller. We have Unky Ben again. You can find him at on Twitter at Unky underscore Ben. He's been hooking us up. He and uh, Chica have been hooking us up with some Japanese delights. Oh, we got today. Boshi. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. I want to introduce that one last. <laughs> oh, I thought we were eating it first. We are eating it first. Oh. But I just want to explain what's yes. happening here. As you can see, we have two types of Oreo cookies. What do we have? We've got... This is like a I can't read tiramisu. Yeah, so. Tiramisu. And this right. one is banana cream. <laughs> this one is vanilla mousse. Vanilla mousse. <laughs> so when we when we did the Kit Kat episode a couple of months ago, yeah. the trade that we, we had proposed, the International Peace Treaty, was their Kit Kats for our mini flavored Oreos. So yes. what did you take over to represent America? So we stuck with the thin kinds like these because we kind of had to make our own Oreo package of mixed sure, flavors. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. We had coconut. Okay. What else did we have? There's pina Lemon. colada. Lemon. Okay. Chocolate. And chocolate. But there's uh, limited there's limited good. weird flavors in the fins. But they're all good. But they're all good. Pretty there was good. a salty caramel, I think, okay. that we had in oh, there. Really? And something else. There were six different ones. How did they like it? It went over like it was a huge success. Nice. Great. That's great. See, I love hearing that we represented a little bit. Especially now when the State Department is understaffed. <laughs> Yes. Well, the, and, and Unky Bennett pointed out, he goes, look, one thing that they're not beating us on is Oreos. That's we've right. Got, we've got the weird Oreos down. And then you're like, now nah, we got here and there's a million Oreos now. <laughs> <laughs> well, just as a fair warning, we picked up the Coke, the cherry Coke flavored Oreos last night. Oh, not they're good. They're not no, that I hard had to take. No, Are I'm, they really? Yes, I have They're full had of pop, rock, pop rocks. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah, because they try to make them carbonated. <laughs> No, I dislike. It smells yeah. like cherry Coke, well, but it's not great. Anyway. Let's also mention this, the Pringles. This yes. is a... Nacho cheese, cheesy Nazi, onion. Yeah, it's like just a cheesy, cheesy onion. onion. Cheesy onion. A cheesy yeah. so onion Pringles. When we went to Japan, they did have two flavored Oreos in addition to the regular stuff, which is the vanilla mousse. Is this a tiramisu? It looks tiramisu. like it's a tiramisu, right? And they're the thin kind. They like the thin kind over there more than the regular. Well, because you can eat more so of them and pretend like you're skinny. First though, <laughs> first though, we have a dare for Alex. Oh yeah. One of the things they brought back was this. It's this a is, umeboshi. This it is, is one of Chica's favorite. Candies. When you say favorite and when you say candy, you're lying about both of those things, right? No, I think it is. It's not favorite. really a candy, though. It's, it's a, a plum. It's a plum that's been like and pickled, it's, pickled it's, basically. It's, it's not a, it's not a plum-shaped candy. It, it is, is a, a plum. little plum. It is a plum. It's in this candy wrapper, and it's in a wrapper. I'm assuming because of the nuclear quality. That's they they both gave it to me and then kind of laughed a little, which is a good and bad sign. Oh wow! Sign. Yeah, I'm not gonna smell it or anything. I'm just no, gonna you pop smell it. You don't want to smell it yet? No, I. That's just. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, it's aggressive. I like it. It's aggressive. And I'm Ooh. not going to do the thing where I go, oh, I'm spitting it out. I'm going to eat this thing. Is there, is there a pit? I, it does have a pit. Okay, so, so don't, watch I'll out for the pit. pit. Don't, don't lose a crown or something. Mm. Yeah, it's... Uh, What's it taste like? Yeah, it's a, imagine a tiny plum infused with... Um, Vinegar? Yeah. <laughs> I cut a whiff of the vinegar. <laughs> In the bag. <laughs> I, look. Talk through it. I love pickles, and I love plums. I officially like this now. <laughs> no, you do not. You do? <laughs> if I tell myself that it, I'm getting around to it, right? What are you going to do with the pit? Mm. Put it back in the wrapper? <laughs> Proved you that I ate it. Okay. I guess well, you could try a little if you want yeah, to. You know, <laughs> You could gnaw your, your off those a, other... Your ABC plum? Now listen, I, I, let me tell you how much I like. I like look, I'm, that was fine. It was fine. I'm trying to imagine what... <clears throat> it's a pickled plum. I think they're bigger, and then when they they put them in a jar or whatever, I think they shrink down to that size. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. I mean, it, it, was, was, amazing. it was a tiny plum. And it wasn't like shriveled and puckered. It no. like a legitimately... I was fine. You know what? Now that I think about it, I, I like pickled things. I, I'm like a big... Look, think of like a... Pickle. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I drink pickle juice. That's how crazy I am about right. pickles. I like pickles. Yeah, that's a football thing, though. <laughs> no, that's it's a not. Football thing. Yeah, it's pickle of juice is. a football thing. Yeah, but I got used to it when I was a kid. I'm kind of sweating now. <clears throat> Why is it making you sweat? Oh, you are sweating. Oh, my boshi. Why are you making, <laughs> Why? Why you make you sweat? <laughs> well, because it's a little... All right. It kind of got my... It kind of got... It kind of activated... Your sweat glands? <laughs> <laughs> kind of activated... 
some stuff going on. I'm not going to throw up or anything, but like, you know those. Are you sure? Because you are sweating profusely now. Look, I can see it coming down the side of your face. All right. It's a whole body experience. <laughs> Which do you recommend we try first after that? Should we go for the Pringles well, first? Let's go for the, the tiramisu because the, oh, the, the kind of coffee flavor might cancel. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, handsome box. I thought the packaging was very cool. It comes in these. Uh, a handsome box? What yeah. kind of a comment is that? Come on. Just let me have my time on the camera, all right? Mm. Thank, oh, you, ben. Thank you. All right, tiramisu. Good good tiramu tiramisu tiramisu fragrance. A good tiramisu. <laughs> these are killer. These are amazing. These are great, yeah. We've got to get these. Yeah, these are very good. Tiramisu Oreo is very, very good. It's kind of got... Do they have a thing about... Do they have a thing with tiramisu? They love it? Because if you just said... Because here in the United States, we would just say coffee bean. You know, or something <laughs> like that. Coffee cream. Cold brew. Cold brew thin Oreos. But yeah, they do. Oh, they yeah, do come, cold brew. <laughs> <laughs> they do come nice. You can, like... You look at the little thing where you throw it in your lunchbox or something. Yeah. Is, this, is this how the or is this how the thin Oreos come here in the U.S.? No, they do not. Come on, U.S. What the heck is happening? Look at this. See, look at how Bust nice these that open. is. open. Oh, they're already open. They're yes, already that's open. the vanilla mousse. All right, vanilla mousse. I kept thinking it was banana. This box still looks, says banana to me. <laughs> banana cream. <laughs> we'll get to these in a moment. Does that, has anyone made a banana cream Oreo yet? I'm sure of it. It's a free idea right there. No, that's like ten behind the cherry coke. Okay. Okay. Now the vanilla smells super vanilla. No, this is a super vanilla. I'll just tell you right now, Oreo, Japan, Nabisco Japan, Mandalas International, whatever. You struck out on this one. It's just this an Oreo. It's just vanilla. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's it's just a regular tasting Oreo, pretty much. Quite it with that highfalutin face. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, now look up. <laughs> <laughs> now look up. It's it's slightly different than a regular Oreo, but I see your point. It smells vanilla though. The vanilla oh, smell is oh my out of this world. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're sweating so bad. It's because you wearing that hat. Oh my gosh. You're in the lights. I'm like getting a little woozy from the umeboshi. Umeboshi, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> now I want to point something out, Ethan. What do you notice about these? Japanese Pringles right off the bat. The preformed chips? They're smaller. <laughs> They're smaller. What the, the heck? The shape is a tiny bit different. Does it have like soft focus on this? What is this? Barbara Walters getting into the uh, Pringles game? <laughs> interviewing the... <laughs> Barbara Walters interviewing the uh, Pringles cartel? Oh. Uh, okay. I already have my, ch I already have my winner for today. Mmm. Okay. What does it remind you of? There's an American treat this tastes like. Sour cream and onion. Nope. No, What's you're wrong. Mind you are? <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Your taste buds are defying you. <laughs> the Funyun. Oh, has a yeah, Funyun yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is kind of Funyun mm -hmm. flavor. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Now, you guys didn't have in studio that thing to get them out. I know. I was thinking about that. Now, if only we had that stupid... Uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something American here. You ready for this? <laughs> The world is not prepared mm. for this. This is the tiramisu. Oh, my Gosh. Tiramisu and... First Trump, now this. <laughs> you believe Tiramisu it? and Funyun. And Funyun. You know what you could do, though. Mm. No, hold on a second. You know what you could do, though. There's an what umami, about, what there's about an umami a, going on here. What about tiramisu and... Oh, yeah, real mm. imaginative, Millard. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't like onions in my desserts. I don't know. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi. What's the Japanese word for pardon me? Sumimasen. Mm. Sumimasen. Uh, we're good. I'm wash good it down. All good. Look, wash yeah. it down with a little bit of peach coke, Japanese peach coke, and yeah, you're on your and you're on your way to diabetes, but Japanese style. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Uh, you know, what bothers me, Uncle Ben, mm. is that in America we are legendary for our snack foods, and they're beating us. They're destroying us. Yeah. Like, yeah. destroying us. Everything that we've tried that you've brought back from Japan, none of it has been even close. I mean, well, with the cough drop, mm. at least, you know, you give them points for the creativity for the with the cough drop Kit yes. Kats. But All otherwise... Right. Umeboshi, not maybe going over so well, so there's that. But. Mm. Yeah, the Umeboshi. <laughs> we don't have to take literally everything. But, I mean, especially some of the stuff that we some recognize. The These are American stuff, brands. Yeah. 
and the fact that they, that they would have such better options that are not available to us. This is how do you upsetting. say? How do you say mother-in-law in Japanese? Umeboshi. Am I getting that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I knew there was probably there's more meaning to it. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here, <laughs> Unky Ben. Special shout out to Chico. When you hit, when you hit the ball, in, when you hit a golf ball into the water, there's a word, there's one word for it in uh, Japanese, umeboshi. It's not, it's not takenote. <laughs> takenote. <laughs> the, ja the jazz is Japanese hashtag. Takenote. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thanks everybody for watching. Go to Japan, enjoy some of these things. <laughs> yeah, let's go. They're cheap. It's cheap. You get there. <laughs> Everyone flies there.